Big victory tonight for the medical marijuana community. A state appeals court panel threw out a drug trafficking conviction of a man who operated Spokane's first medical marijuana dispensary. KXY4's Annie Bishop is live in the newsroom with what this means for dispensaries and patients. Annie? marijuana debate in our state. The court says the dispensary can sell to several people one at a time, not just one person, period, as law enforcement officials have interpreted, and it also uh, clears Scott Shoup's name. Shoup, who opened the first medical marijuana dispensary in Spokane, was convicted last year of charges stemming from a police raid. But the appeals judges say police lack probable cause to justify those searches. Within a week of his March 2011 conviction, federal authorities sent letters to all other dispensaries in the region, warning them to shut down. Most did, but others continued and wound up being indicted. Shoup's attorney, Frank Sivatovich, says his client was very emotional today when he learned of the decision. The ruling also could be mean uh, big th things for thousands of patients in need of medical marijuana. Hopefully now we can uh, legitimately talk about how we can open a dispensary without the police worried about it. Um, they're the ones that have been paranoid, which is kind of a flip of uh, that it's being done illegally. All we want to do is be able to have patients have good quality uh, you know, medicine if they're legitimate and they need it. And hopefully that this gets us in that direction. And even with this ruling, Sivatonich warns former dispensary owners to be cautious about reopening. Medical marijuana is still illegal under federal law. It's unclear how the feds will react to this latest decision. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.